In this DaVinci Resolve 19 tutorial, I will show you how to correct your colors in no time. Take a look at this footage here. It's a bit off, right? Looks like I misconfigured the white balance here. It happens, but now look at this. Much better, right? So let's fix those wrong colors and I will show you how to do it quickly and easily in the color tab of DaVinci Resolve. And as always, if this helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, let's jump right in. All right, we are already in DaVinci Resolve 19 here. It's the studio version, but you can do this with the free version as well, so no worries. I've already imported here in the media pool my footage here from the intro section. I already dragged and dropped it to the timeline. As you can see, I have two parts here. So you can see how it looked before and how it will look afterwards. Okay, now we will configure the first part. For that, we will select it and we'll go to the very bottom here to the color tab. So in the color tab, you can see two important areas. The first one are the primary color wheels here, plus the scope, vector scope. If you don't see them, you have to select here a different menu item. So it's the third one from the left. This is when you do a mouse over, you can see color wheels. So we need these color wheels. All right, when you don't see the vector scope here on the right bottom side, you can select it here in the menu in this drop down field very easily. Yeah, normally you have the waveform here activated or the parade. So I like to work with the vector scope here. So let's do the color correction here. As you can see, the colors of my videos are totally off. So I've chosen obviously the wrong white balance. All right, what we can do here is we go here down in our color section. Sometimes it works with this auto balance button. Let's try it out. Oh, it changed the color, but as you can see, I'm not quite satisfied with this selection. So I will go back here. Or you can also use this white balance option here to pick with the color picker a white color and then it should change to the right color. As you can see this also doesn't work because you can see there are a lot of different colors here and not really something is really white. Yeah. So okay let's go back here we don't need this one so I go back as well. So what we can do here is to configure it manually. So in my case here, I will go for the temperature scale here and I will adjust it manually. For that, you do a simple left click and hold it down and you go to the right or to the left. As you can see, apparently the left side is the one we need. So let's move it a bit more. Let's see how it looks like. And uh, I think minus 1500 would be the best choice here. This looks almost like I did it in the camera. I'm quite happy with it, but let's see if we need to modify something else. So let's see the tint. No, no, I think we can keep this on zero here. Okay, contrast. Nope. This can also stay on one. Then the pivot is also yeah, I think we can still keep this on, on the standard value. And yeah, the mid detail is an, an important modification thing because here you can sharpen or unsharpen your footage. So in my case, on my Sony a7 IV, I'm pretty happy with the sharpness of the picture. But as you can see, when I push it to the limit on the right side, it will be over sharpened. And when I put it to minus 100, you see it's blurred. So this area is very important when you use smartphone footage and you want to uh, reduce the sharpness a bit. So I very often use this for my phone footage. But anyhow, that's not the case here. So let's see. Um, I think the rest looks quite okay. -ish. Let's go for the color boost. Let's see what we can do here. Um, no, I think it can stay on zero. Then the shadow, let's see what we can do here. Oh, I bit raised the shadows to eight. All right, that's nice. Then let's have a look at the highlights. Oh, no, I can leave this as zero. And the saturation, uh, this is quite fine on 50. So as you can see, there is not a lot to do. 
So there were just uh, some minor tweaks I did, but the most important thing was to change the white balance here, the temperature, the color temperature of this picture. So the other thing here on the vector scope, this is the last thing I want to show you, because here you can also use the offset. So this is a tweak where you can also tweak the colors a bit more. So as you can see, when I, when I move this one here, the offset, you can see that it moves as well on the vector scope side and goes in the color direction. I'm moving this point here on this vector scope. Let's go to the middle again. And you can do it very gently and try to see that you move this in the middle of the white space so that you can see that it works very well also for you. I think let's have a look here. Oh, I think this is great. This is almost in the middle here. Okay, but from my point of view, this is done. So as you can see, it's not that hard to do it. Maybe one more thing, when you have two videos and you want to apply this as well on the next one, you simply select the first one, go to Control C, so copy this style, Go to the next one and with Ctrl V, you apply it for the next video as well. All right, I think that's it for our color correction tutorial for today. See, once you know what tools to use and where to find them, color correction isn't so intimidating. Of course, if your footage is too far gone, there's only so much you can do. Getting it right in camera is always the best. If you found this helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing for more DaVinci Resolve tips. And don't miss my DaVinci Resolve playlist over here, so you can continue watching. That's it for today. Stay healthy, take care and I will see you in the next one.